Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Anhar and welcome back to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a free Windows virtual machine in Azure. Creating a VM in the cloud is a great way to experiment with software, run applications, or learn about IT infrastructure without needing physical hardware. During the first 30 days after creating an Azure free account, you will receive 200 US dollar in credit in your local billing currency to spend on any Azure service except third-party marketplace purchases. You can use this credit to explore and experiment with different tiers and types of Azure services to get hands-on experience with the platform. If you use paid Azure services or resources during the first 30 days, the charges will be deducted from your Azure credit. Your Azure free account also includes a limited quantity of selected services that are free for 12 months along with a set of services that are always free. However, only specific tiers and usage limits of these services are included in the free offering. For example, Azure offers a wide range of virtual machines designed for different workloads. With a free account, you have access to three VM types at no cost, B1S, B2PTS V2 and B2ATS V2 VMs, each usable for up to 750 hours per month. As long as you stay within a free tier limits, you can use these VMs in various configurations to suit your needs. In the first step, we need to log in to the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. Ensure your account has sufficient privileges to create a new virtual machine. We recommend that you use the free services page in the Azure portal to create free services. In the search bar at the top of the portal, type free services. Under services, select free services. This will open the free services page. On this page, you can view the list of services that are free for the next 12 months. We can create both Windows and Linux based virtual machines. Select create under the Windows virtual machine section to create a new Windows VM. If you have multiple subscription, select the subscription in which you wanted to create a virtual machine. If you have only one subscription, it will be selected automatically. Choose the resource group you want to use or create a new one from this page. When setting up the free VM, create a new resource group and name it something meaningful like FreeVM-RG01 to help keep your free VM resources organized. In the virtual machine name field, enter a unique name for your VM. For example, FWS-VM01. This name will be used to identify the VM within Azure. Next, select the Azure Data Center location where your VM will be hosted. You can create the virtual machine in any region where B-series virtual machines are available. For this example, we are hosting this VM in the East US region. Next, we need to select the image for this VM. Image is the operating system template for your VM. Select the image of the Windows machine you want to use. For this example, we will select Windows Server 2022 Data Center Azure Edition Core Gen 2 image. Now, we have the option to select the VM size. With the free VM, only the B1S size is available which includes one virtual CPU and one GB of RAM. In the bracket, you can see the estimated monthly cost for running this virtual machine in Azure. Next, we need to set up administrator account credentials to access the VM once it's running. First, enter the name of administrator account. Make sure that your password is at least 12 characters long and also meets the complexity requirements. With inbound port rules, you define what traffic can access your VM from the internet. This is managed by Network Security Group, which functions as a basic firewall. For Windows-based VMs, RDP with TCP port 3389 is selected by default, allowing you to connect to this VM using remote desktop. Click Next to continue. Provide the tag name and its value. After entering the tag name and its value, select Review plus Create button. Wait for the validation to complete. If the validation passes successfully, we are ready to create the virtual machine. If validation is failed, then review the mandatory parameters that are not defined or required. In our case, the validation was successful. 
Review your selections before creating the VM. If everything looks good, click the create button to deploy the new Windows VM in Azure. It can take anywhere from 2 to 5 minutes to deploy the virtual machine. Wait for the VM deployment to complete. Ok, deployment is filled. Let's review the details. Uh, click here to see the details. Let's see the error. It's about the public IP creation. Ok, we are getting an error related to standard SKU public IP. You must have allocation method set to static for this VM. Ok, so let me fix this. Uh, let's click on redeploy. Let's select our resource group which is free VM hyphen RG01 in our case. Uh, else everything leave it default. We just need to change the public address type from dynamic to static. Let me type value static for public IP address type. Now let's again click on review plus create. It says validation failed, required information is missing or not to valid. Let's go to basic step, uh, what we have forgot. Ok, it's about, the IP, uh, it's about the password of our administrator user account. Ok, I have entered the administrator account password. Let's again click on review plus create. Let's again run the validation. Ok, validation was successful. Let's click on create to start creating the VM. Finally, this time VM has been created successfully. Deployment is succeeded. So, our free windows VM has been deployed successfully. Let's confirm that. Click on resource group, which is free VM hyphen RG01 in our example. We must find the virtual machine under this resource group. We can confirm AppWS hyphen VM01 virtual machine is present under this resource group. Let's click on it to view the dashboard of our virtual machine. Verify all properties of the VM including resource group, location, VM size and family, operating system type, public IP and tags. We can confirm a free Windows Server 2022 VM is now up and running on Azure. In the overview tab, look at and copy the public IP address. Then use remote desktop protocol to connect to your VM. Open the run menu, tap MSTSC and press enter. This will launch the remote desktop connection client. Paste the copied IP address and click on connect. Enter the username and password you created for the virtual machine and then click OK. You might get a warning about a certificate. Ignore the certificate warning and click Yes to connect. Wait until the RDP session is successfully established. RDP connection will be established to the VM using the public IP address. We have successfully connected to the Windows Server 2022 core VM running in Azure using an RDP connection. You can install and configure the required roles and services on this VM according to your needs just like you would in an on-premises environment. If you no longer need to use the VM, make sure to shut it down and disconnect your RDP connection to avoid unnecessary usage. That's all for this video on how to create a free Windows virtual machine in Azure portal. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.